wonderful song, How Lovely Are Your Dwelling Places. of the light of the world which is of course called the gospel and in that gospel <coughs> the righteousness of God without the law of thought is revealed you see why do you take thought what shall we eat? What shall we drink? What we ever we shall be clothed by? Or whatever form of materiality we think we have need of in this world. Whether it is body, whether it is money, you know, whatever, whether it is health, prosperity, success, or whatever it is that we know today as human life. Am I right? Why take thought for these things? Don't you know that your heavenly Father already knows what you have need of even before you ask? <laughs> this is a mystery because it's not, how can I say it? As long as we have a desire for a place, thing, companionship, even a desire for God, we do not know God. Because God is not away somewhere. For Him to be desired. And God is always here and now a very present help in a time of need he is closer to us than breathing and closer to us than hands and feet <clears throat> you see so the mystery then is to recognize number one what is then that thing what we call God then right? Yeah. 
Because if we know God, then everything else will be added. Without any struggle. Without any competition. Without any manipulation of the mind. Or even wheeling and dealing. You know what I mean? So I'm going to read a scripture from Matthew 11. You don't have to turn it up. Just listen. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, or controller, or maintainer, and sustainer of heaven, and of earth. So whatever we call heaven or spiritual or invisible is maintained. In other words, the cause of all things that are manifesting, manifested today as flower, as grape, isn't that right? As grape, as juice, as potatoes under the under the ground, as fish in the sea, all that was already there before the world was founded. In other words, the substance of all things, everything what was ordained. Have you ever thought why the uh, the gold is in the earth? You know, why are the things in the earth? Why is the fish in the sea? Why are the trees that grow with fruit on them? Why are they there? They are preordained to be there for you to live a total total, absolute, super abundant life. In other words, nothing what men ever will need uh, is there. It's there. But it's there in the invisible. First in the invisible, then the visible. Yeah? In other words, I was there already before the world was founded. You see, the mystery today, which is very deep, of course, but nevertheless, it's revealed unto babes. The greatest mystery is not revealed unto those that claim to be wise. It's not revealed even to the religious. It's not revealed to the metaphysician. It's revealed to babes. And usually that the babes have come to the conclusion of myself, I can do nothing, I of myself know nothing. See, it's my father that knows and performs that what is given me to do. So I don't have to take thought. Isn't that wonderful? Man, that's so, such a relief. I don't have to worry or think about my life because I haven't got one. <laughs> I haven't got the life. Have you got a life? Well, if you long as you think you have one, then you have problems. You have no life to live or the life to protect or the life to save or the life to provide for. Of course, the life that is, is the gift. God is the gift. If you would know the gift, then you stop worrying. Because within the gift is all that what you need. So Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hid these things from the, from the wise and the prudent 
and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seems good in thy sight that all things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. So nobody knows the effect but the cause. So the invisible father knows the effect. And you are the effect. Is that true? Aren't you the effect? But you are only the effect if you have no personal sense of your life. Because the personal sin of your life, you say, I am Tony, and I am good looking, I am, you know, and I've got all that money, and, you know, and I'm rich, and prosperous, and healthy, and oh, you know, that's not what I am. That's not the effect. Because don't forget the cause, which is the father, and the effect, which is the son, is the same. Same substance, same nature. The only thing it is, one is the generator, the other one is the generated. See? So the generator and the generated are one. My father and I, what? Are one. So what is then the effect? What is then the expression of that causation we call the father? Well, number one, that they may know the, the cause, okay? If we know the cause, which is the Father, which is the maintaining, sustaining, and upholding factor of all there is, universes, planets, but right through the smallest particle, such as the photon, which is a light particle, he upholds that just as much as he upholds the moon and the stars and the sun and the constellations. And he knows exactly how to function your, your liver. <laughs> and focuses in the eyes, makes it see, makes everything here. That's all the effect. But they are all parts of the effect, isn't that right? But the effect as a whole is a wonderful, harmonious operation and working of divine order. Amen. Are you hearing all that? Yes. See, that's what the Father is. So no man knoweth the Son. So then in our humanity, which is the man, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Can never know the Son. In other words, in our what I would call fundamentalism. Now what is fundamentalism? Have you ever thought what that is? It's known as orthodoxy. And I like to show you how this functions in the human consciousness, what actually works as the human consciousness, as a belief system. It's very complex. It's complex, but at the same time, it's very easy. <laughs> Once you break through, through this realm, you know, of constantly struggling and manipulating for survival, and, and with it, of course, comes all the religious beliefs, the orthodox beliefs about God, about man, about the universe, about what God's will is. Nobody knows what God's will is except the Son. But no man can know the Son, so the man is totally void of knowing what God is. He cannot know what God is, he doesn't know what the Son is. So he knows know what God's will is, so he prays. <laughs> 